My name is Rajaran Poor, and I'm here from the One Project Board on the Hunger Planning Team Committee. My role in One Project is a Director of Student Involvement, but here together we're sponsored by two organizations. One is One Project and one is Be Kind. We came together to really bring a lot, um, bring the community together to really help those in need, and that's what this whole event is about. Back in 2014, there was a group of uh, different people from different faiths and backgrounds we want to figure out a way to bring people together and we just came up with the idea of maybe doing a hunger project because food, food insecurity is an issue that everybody agrees is an issue can come together on. So we figured let's bring all these people together uh, and fight it, address food insecurity while bringing different communities, different backgrounds, races, religions uh, in one space. So the outreach for this event is actually U.S. Hunger brings together uh, their national organization, they bring together all the meals. So it's dry food, dry meals, lentils, pasta sometimes, and we assemble it so the shelf life is longer and we help those families that are in need of um, packaged meals. Hi, I'm Cindy Rosen. I am one of the co-founders of Be Kind, Joy of Giving. We have partnered with One Project to create this New Jersey Hunger Project event and I'm on the planning team committee. So I got involved in the New Jersey Hunger Project event as part of the Be Kind organization. Um, we come together with this community and draw in over a thousand people to help us today. Um, it's a great event for a great cause. We like to fight food insecurity in our area. Um, we found out about it just through it happening in our high school here in Robbinsville. And um, we just love to bring the community together. My name is Angie Kuma and I'm a realtor and I have been sponsoring One Hunger Project since 2014 when it first started. What motivates me is so many people have no meal. I've come to know through the military when we were in the military how many people did not have lunch when the summer school breaks were in. So that, that makes me always want to help to help a kid food meal every day, you know. So the best motivation is obviously the impact that we're going to make. Uh, collectively, we pack 100,000 meals that will go to food insecure kids in New Jersey. So it's a great motivator and definitely something that I plan to participate in again next year and in the years to come. I'd say the feeling of giving back, um, you kind of realize how many families depend on the meals that come from school for their family. Um, so it's kind of crazy that we can all come together as a community and create something like this. My name's Arjun and I am packaging the foods. Well, I like helping people a lot and when my mom asked me if I wanted to do it, I was like, yeah. So I've been doing the, the onions and the rice. I've been putting them in the bags. My name is Molly and I'm going into seventh grade. Uh, I've been sealing the bags and doing the stickers. I've been doing this for like five years and, and my mom is friends with the like person who runs it. At least we are doing something for the community and be part of something is a good project. I, to me, it gives a satisfaction. I introduce new people and every, everybody who has come, they have a lot of fun and that they say we are going to bring more people for this project. And that's a big satisfaction. I think something that motivates us to keep coming to this event is that we know that we're going to be helping people, a lot of people out here. And by doing this save out, by doing this work, we're able to make other people's lives a little bit more centered. I think the importance of teamwork is something that is understated uh, a lot during, during this project. You have to work with a lot of other team members to package it as quickly as possible and make as many meals as possible throughout the day.